Yes. Alan, what did you think? Alan, what did you think of the roundup No Way Out? Okay, so uh, the reason I brought this movie up, it's it's in theaters now, very limited release. Uh, in my area, it's only at one theater. But uh, it's a Korean cop action thriller. Uh, stars Don Lee, and you remember, may remember him from a from a Marvel hit, The Eternals. Uh, but, <laughs> but cast that aside. Um, the, the, what I like about the roundup is it harkens back to the late 80s, early 90s of of uh, our our favorite cop action dramas like Lethal Weapon, uh, Beverly Hills Cop. You they they can't make these movies anymore. Um, you know it's and it's funny because it's in South Korea, and so uh, the the style of of detective work and and police work is very different there, and it's very eye opening. But but uh, just a story real quick. Um, at South Korea, Don Lee plays uh, a detective. Uh, his captain was just killed undercover uh, during an undercover uh, drug operation. There's a new drug out there called Hyper. Um, there's a mysterious uh, distributor who's distributing this this highly addictive drug throughout South Korea. And the drugs are being supplied by the Yakuza from Japan. And so the story is about uh, Don Lee's character uh, figuring out who the bad guys are um, at one point, uh, a, a giant sta or, or a stash of those drugs goes missing, um, and the mysterious Korean uh, overlord t is the one who took it. But now there's a chase for who has the drugs. At one point, Don has it. Another point, the bad main bad guys have it. Um, and so again, it, this is just one of these cop action movies. And and uh, the thing about Don Lee's character and what makes him different from everyone else is that he is a big man. He's a brute. He is a, uh, his character is a former boxer. And so uh, being a brute means two things. One is he can knock you out with a single punch. And two, he can withstand a lot of a lot of beatings. And so so as the police, they'll just go in uh, to a suspected drug den uh, without a search warrant and just start beating people up. Um, <laughs> there's, there's a part where there's a club where they're distributing the drugs. He just walks into the club. Um, second... Uh, for, is it search and seizure be damned? The Constitution be damned. This is South Korea. Um, and he just starts searching, finds the drugs, and uh, you know, and uh, so this is this is that age, that time when the police would just walk in and start beating people up to get what they want. The, to counterbalance that, uh, we have the Yakuza. While while uh, the police are beating people up, the the Yakuza and the drug lords they're just killing people uh, with swords. There's not a lot of gunplay. Uh, knives and swords are the uh, weapons of pleasure, and uh, it's just, it's just, uh, you know, it's it's your typical movie. It's just total action, uh, over the top crime. Um, but again, it just brought me back to the way, you know, back to the eighties and nineties of, of the cop films that I used to watch a lot, and and really miss because that's that's not happening anymore. And I hate to say this, um, but in outside of the United States, the police they just come in and beat people up. They, they don't care, you know. Your your race, your creed, your your gender, whatever they just beat you up. Um, so weirdly, that's that's uh, refreshing. And uh, as one of the comments here is, this is this is a sequel to the original Roundup. So apparently, there's a there's a series of films being made uh, starring this character. Uh, so would you recommend the Roundup? I would, I would. I would. It's not the greatest film ever made. It's the the film is kind of flimsy. But again, so were so were the action films I watched back in the eighties and nineties. Cool. All right. And it's playing in limited release. Yes.